<laughs> okay, look at the side. The side, you can see... It's green. Yeah, it does not have beans in it. Fucking weirdos. <laughs>this is the keyboard we're going to be building today this is a Hyten. this is a 40s keyboard by jackie so if you don't know jackie he's also done piggy bear 65 v1 v2 and then elephant and this is the Hyten, or aka the dolphin right so this is the board this is an anal pink but the group by unit will be a e pink so it will be more pink than this. All right, so let's look at the case. It is a 40s board. As you can see, it has very, very chunky bezels. It has a smooth front lip, which I really like. And the neat thing about this board is there's actually no harsh lines, except for maybe right here. But if you look at the board, the entirety of the board is just like smooth and rounded. Here's the side. So the side, because of the chunky bezels, it almost acts like a really nice wrist rest. <laughs> Here's the back. So it does have eight screws total on the back and it has these crazy looking feet. And then it has a centered USB port. So it does use daughterboard JST, but I have a proto unit. So there are a few things that are changing. Each kit should come with a battery. However, there are certain countries that cannot deliver the battery too, so you'll be responsible for buying your own battery. There's going to be a group buy and a first come first serve in stock drop. So the in stock drop, it's going to be 100 units. They're saying the price for that is going to be 335 and it's hot swap and PC plate. For the group buy though, there's a lot of other colors. So I think ultimately the color is based on the IC, E white, E beige, E purple, E green, E pink, red, and PC. And then there is a full brass option. And then it will be available in both hot swap and solder. And then the versions of the PCBs also vary. It's a little confusing, but hot swap version does not have split backspace, or split spacebar, but then the solder does. The solder PCB does not have full spacebar. <laughs> it, it's, it's a little weird based on the pictures that I'm seeing. There's a lot more information in the IC page that I've linked. If you have more questions, I'd recommend joining the Discord. It's Jackie's like pretty responsive. Five degree typing angle. Ooh, looks nice. It is gasket pour on in the battery compartment right here and then you have the little weight right here with dolphin so there is no plate foam but case foam is available if you want to add it so we can have a look see at the pcb and the plate oh the plate is so cute look look how cute it has a little dolphin on the cutout oh so cute love it and then here is the PCB, although it will be different for the group buy, like I said. So no flux cuts anywhere. No LEDs on the front side. Group buy version will probably change a little bit, but I'm not sure what the changes will be. Without further ado, let's get into it. The person we raided yesterday, Frank Emotion got him to take a picture of his feet and post it in his discord <laughs> what the hell oh my god <laughs> they were literally just like throwing money at the <laughs> it was like show me your feet for these bits the guy was like okay you got it he just posted a picture of both his feet he actually went to go wash his feet before he showed it to us. He wanted to make sure his feet were clean. <laughs> so he went and washed his feet and put it up on his desk and took a picture. <laughs> it was so crazy. I felt like I had to apologize. <laughs> I felt like I had to say sorry because my chat was so my viewers 
when you open the case so it's just this bottom piece it's completely flat there's not really any walls on the side other than like the internal walls right that you see right here but as you can see bottom piece is just a flat pancake it's just a flat piece but then when you look at the actual top piece there is an internal part right here and this is where i don't know if you can see this part right here this is where the gaskets and the pcb go into so you see here is a battery compartment and then this is for the weight and then the internal part also uses eight weight four on the top four on bottom All right, so this is the high tone. Here's the top, here's the side, here's the back. So you got your nice little dolphin badge right here, or weight, you got your four interesting feet, and a USB side. I like it, Picasso. Mm -hmm. So final thoughts, I think all of Jackie's boards are amazing. I am a huge Jackie stan. Bear, the Alice board, my favorite board of all time. I do love the thick bezels. The thick bezels, especially at the bottom, makes it almost like a built-in mini wrist rest. And so I do like that this board has no like harsh corners. And then this keyboard is interesting the way it's mounted. So it does use adhesive gaskets, but there is an internal piece inside that basically pushes it up to the top piece, right? Because you have to screw in. It does have Bluetooth compatibility, so you can do both Bluetooth wired. And so it's interesting how this mounting works. So there is an internal piece right here. Also eight screws for up top for on the bottom that keeps the PCB and the plate up top. 
right? So you got a lot of room right here and right here. You have a lot of room inside. I will say when you're assembling it, you have to make sure that it's fully aligned, the gaskets. I made the mistake of not fully aligning it because there's not really any like alignment tabs. You just kind of have to make sure that all these screws go in all the way. Here's an interesting thing. And here's a very neat thing that I like that Jackie did. You didn't have to take this apart to get to the Bluetooth because you take the space bar out and you can see that the switch is right here. So you just get like the tweezers and then you just push it and it will turn the Bluetooth on. The daughter board that I have is not the final group by daughter board. It is daughter board JST. This is just the prototype PCB. And so the daughter board I was provided doesn't actually fit in here, but the group by version will be different. It's just for the sake of getting the prototypes out. But yeah, my, my final thoughts are for 335 in stock drop, if you like this kind of aesthetic and you can get use of this layout, it's a very nice board very nice board and yeah that's the board and that's the keyboard